I grew up with a single mom who did not really watch over us. We had social services involved and we kind of grew up with them in our home almost more than our mom. And I ex experimented with drugs and alcohol at a very young age, shortly after turning 15. I got pregnant, I struggled with what to do. During that situation, my mother wasn't entirely supportive. She just was very against me making an adoption plan. So it was, it was difficult. We were bouncing around from my friends' houses to interim care homes with Bethany Christian Services for the first 10 months of his life. I mean, I lost my friends, I lost my whole family. I mean, nobody in my family would talk to me because I was placing this child that they all grew to know and love. It was really rough. I was extremely suicidal for a long time. I struggled with depression. I, I don't know what got me through it, but something did. There was a caseworker at Bethany. I didn't know her. I just knew her name and I knew that she wanted to help me and that was it. And then there was just strangers that I was being told were praying for me, but they were just empty words because I didn't believe in God. The caseworker, Heather, talked to me about Christianity and she even brought me to Branch Creek, the adoptive parents. They would always send me text messages, we're praying for you, Jess. And then I met this guy, Ben. We built a relationship as a boyfriend and girlfriend and it was really incredible. And he had graduated from a Christian high school and knew every little piece of the Bible, like to me, that's what I thought, he knew everything. And so he would, he just started out small with me. I was like, well, let me read you Noah's Ark. And that's what we would do. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'm intrigued by this. And then I started coming back to church and then I would miss a week and it, it took its time. I didn't know who to turn to. What really helped was Ben's family, his own mother, just kept saying, we just have to trust God. And, and she did. So watching that, I think, is what really just made me say, okay, we have to trust God. I met Dave Detweiler, and I remember reaching out to him when Ben had passed away, and I just was like, I need to talk to somebody. And I remember saying to him, why am I, why am I like feeling like I'm drawing closer to God in the worst time of my life, but when I'm like the happiest, I'm like, don't, don't need you, God. And he was like, that's so normal. Like, that is so normal. And I'm not surprised to hear that. And I just found that comforting. I was like, okay, so maybe that's what it is all about, is just trusting God in the darkest times too. I can look back over the last seven years especially and just see God's hand and his work in everything. Like every little thing from the adoption, from the people that he put into my life, and even the people that he had to take out of my life. And that has brought me to pursuing a degree in psychology with a focus in Christian counseling to work and hopefully minister girls that find themselves in a similar situation that I did. So despite all of the heartache and all of the pain and all of the lessons I've learned, I know without a doubt that I'm a life changed by Christ. And I am so fortunate that every single day I can wake up and just be so grateful to him and I can trust him and that I have no doubt in wanting to bring people to Him because I know what it does for you. My name is Jessica and I attend LCBC Branch Creek.